Our scarred soul digs out after the biggest communist bomber raid since the resumption of truce talks several months ago. One bomb hit near the home of President Syngman Rhee. A second landed near a correspondence billet, and still another reduced a school to rubble. Casualties, however, are light. Rhee, meanwhile, stubbornly vows to ignore an armistice amid reports he will finally accept the truce terms. Unrest grips the capital with weeping semi-hysterical schoolgirls storming an 8th Army compound, acting as shields for hundreds of youths. Surging through the streets, unruly mobs shout angry defiance at America and the United Nations. Whipped up by fanatic South Korean nationalists, the crowds push toward a U.S. military center. The G.I. stand firm as the free world struggles to bring peace to Korea. 